Hi guys, today I am going to share my morning cleaning routine with you. If you happen to miss my nighttime cleaning routine, I am going to link that below, but it might be helpful to watch that first because a lot of things I get done before bed really help my morning routine to run smoothly. And I know that we all have different lives, but I hope it just shows you just some things that we do in the morning to clean up after ourselves and get ready for the day. I also wanted to mention that if you are just stopping by, um, we recently bought this house and renovated almost the entire thing and we moved in not quite six months ago and we were still renovating our house so we haven't done an enormous amount of decorating yet so you might see like mirrors propped against the wall or nightstands with nothing on them or dressers with nothing on them and we don't have um, side tables that we're going to keep or anything um, so you might notice that my house isn't fully decorated um, it will get there but I just wanted to mention that because you'll be seeing a lot of our home so let's go ahead and get started my day starts at 6 30 a.m. First things first, I need my coffee. Then I head upstairs and make sure my boys are up and getting ready for school. I just wanted to show you the beauty of doing your nighttime cleaning routine. You get to wake up to a clean kitchen, which feels awesome. I always start my day by reading the Bible and praying. I'm often asked about my devotion time. Right now I am reading through the book of Acts and I'm also working on a ladies Bible study so I'll usually answer a few of those questions and then I pray. This is my view in the morning and it's very nice and relaxing. Sometimes I see little bunnies or pretty birds. I think it's really important to start your day in a calm way, as much as you possibly can, that is. My boys are teenagers, so they are very independent, and they pack their own lunches in the morning. When they were younger, I would pack their lunches the night before and just pack their sandwich in the morning. My boys get their own breakfast. I did that for them when they were younger. I just have my gym clothes here. I just go ahead and get dressed for the gym and I do all of my cleaning with my gym clothes on. Here I am ready to take my boys to school. We live a ways away from the school, so I'll be gone for a little over an hour. When I get home, it's time to start cleaning, but first I need to let some light in. I am in one of my boys' rooms, actually. I just come up here to grab the laundry and clean their bathroom. They are responsible for making their beds and cleaning up their rooms. They put all of their dirty laundry in a basket, which they keep in their closet, but I just grab it and put it there so that I can grab it on the way downstairs. I also go into their bathroom and start wiping down the mirror. I also spray down the countertops and the sink and wipe that down. I also wipe down the toilet and switch the toilet. I usually don't need to sweep but every couple of days in here. But my boys do this on the weekends and in the summer. It's just a little bit too much for them to do before school. So I go ahead and take care of it. Because this is done daily, it on honestly only takes about two to three minutes because there really isn't a whole lot of buildup or grime. <laughs> Once the bathroom is clean, I head down with the laundry basket and all of the garbages that are up there and I start separating the laundry and I also empty the garbage. I do one load of laundry a day. This just keeps it from building up and it's just really easy to throw in one load. I apologize for the shaky camera I was holding it. I use white vinegar as a fabric softener and these are crystal wash balls. I've done a video on those before but if you aren't familiar, I will leave a link below. I'm still using them. I still love them. They are detergent free and great for sensitive skin and they last a thousand washes so you don't have to buy a laundry detergent. Then I go over and I start getting the laundry that was hanging up to dry from the day before and I just take it upstairs and put it away in my boys closet. I also put their laundry basket back and their trash can back. 
So everything up here is clean and I head on downstairs. I do everything in the same order every day because it just really keeps me from getting sidetracked. So I grab my laundry, um, sometimes John has some, he just didn't have anything that needed to be um, hung up to dry. So I go ahead and put all of that away in our closet. And then I head into the bathroom and just put anything away that is out on the counter. There usually isn't a whole lot because as you can see, I am not ready for the day. And then I just open the shades in the bathroom. Because I haven't gotten ready yet for the day, I just leave the bathroom and do it later after I'm ready. Next is time to make the bed. So I just go ahead and make the bed. Then I head into our powder room and just quickly wipe down the mirror, the sink, the faucet, and the toilet. I also swish the toilet and empty the trash. This really only takes me about a minute and a half. I do this because this is the bathroom that anyone that comes over would use. Then I head into the kitchen and if there's anything to meet that needs to clean up from breakfast or lunch, I just go ahead and clean that up. There were just a few crumbs from my boys making their lunch. And then I go ahead and make my smoothie. When I am done with my smoothie, I wash the blender and everything. It's so important to clean up after yourself as you go because if you don't, you can see the counter will get messy again and there will be dishes in the sink and everything. If you just take a couple minutes to clean up after yourself, um, it is really great. My boys do this in the summer when they make lunch or breakfast. They wash a pan if they use it and it really, really helps to just keep down on the mess in the kitchen. My laundry is done, so I take the pants and shirts out and just put them in the dryer for a couple minutes to release the wrinkles, and then I hang them up. This just cuts down on electricity and the wear on our clothing. Once they are done drying, I just grab some hangers and hang them up. And then I just put everything else in the dryer with wool dryer balls. I love those. It really does seem to cut down on the drying time. Then I spend about 15 minutes on some detailed cleaning. I do one area a week and I was doing the bathrooms this week. So you saw me wiping down the walls, the baseboards, and I also cleaned out these cabinets. And this is all in the powder room. Then it is time for me to head to the gym. Once the laundry is done drying, I just place it all in this basket here and I leave this here for my boys because they fold the laundry when they get home from school. When I get home from the gym, I jump right in the shower and then I get ready for the day. While I'm getting ready, I usually watch YouTube videos or Gilmore Girls. <laughs> So I try to make sure I put away things as I'm using it. So after I'm done applying ma my makeup, I go ahead and put it all back in the drawer. As, and I also put back my hair dryer and things like that so that it's not all over the bathroom counter. Once I am done getting ready, I go ahead and wipe down the bathroom mirror, the sinks, and the countertops.
then I just spray down the shower with a little vinegar and water. It just cuts down on the soap scum. I also wipe down the toilet and swish it really quickly. Because this bathroom is larger, it does take me a little bit longer to clean it. Um, I would say probably five to seven minutes because I do it every day. And then I need to sweep the floor. My hair gets everywhere, unfortunately, and there really is no getting away with not sweeping the floor every single day. I get ready and clean up the bathroom then I go about my day if I need to go grocery shopping or run errands a lot of days I work on videos whether it's recording or editing um, if I do something for my church or go out to lunch with a friend or something like that that's when I'll go ahead and do that and then um, I go and pick up my boys from school and then I have a little bit of time before I have to start dinner and then it kind of goes into my evening routine.